What's up, my friends? How are y'all? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to use this Sharpie marker, and I'm going to show you exactly where you need to cut your coop when you get ready to make a fastback out of your coop. I'm going to take you out to uh, my little old car out here. Call this Susie. Look at little Susie. Susie's kind of a mess. She can't help it. The truth is, is that she lived her life as a like a little drag car, race car, and Somewhere along the way, she lost her way. I named her Susie because I used to have a little beagle dog. Her name was Susie. And little Susie got down there by the road and she got hit by a car. Didn't kill her, but it kind of did something to her brain. And so she wound up walking around and she'd walk into a corner and she would just stand there in the corner where, you know, wherever she, whatever she walked into, that's where she would stay. And uh, that's kind of like little Susie here. She kind of walked into a corner and uh, that's kind of where she's going to stay for right now at least. But you and I are going to use Miss Susie to figure out exactly where you need to cut your car when you're gonna make this conversion. All right, so before we cut our car, we're gonna do a few things. One of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect it. Now, if you look at little Susie, it's bright out here, y'all. I'm sorry I look all squinty-eyed, but I'm gonna look at some things on little Miss Susie to make sure that they're okay. So first of all, before you cut your car, we're gonna do a few things. We're gonna inspect it. Now, I'm at the front of the car. There's the front wheel where the front wheel would be, and I'm looking right here. This area right here is the side panel toe kick. Isn't that a great little name for it? I'm going to look at the side panel, and if this side panel's not in bad shape, and if you look at this one, it's not. It's actually in really good shape. You see that? That's surface rust. There's nothing to that. Now, I'm going to look also at the rocker panel. See down here? This is the outer rocker. I want you to notice it's in great condition, y'all. That looks really good. Now, I'm going to look at the. This is the A-pillar. This is where the, the front edge of your um, windshield frame comes down, and if you'll notice, this is the A-pillar. You'll notice this is where the door hinges attach. Look right here. What kind of rust have you got? Down at the bottom especially. Do we have rust down in there? I don't see any, and I don't see any rust on the rocker panel. This, this car is actually in really good shape. I'm going to look up here best I can. Um, I'm going to look at the window frame. You, you really ought to pull this stuff out. I'm not doing it because I'm not really going to be doing this car, but I'm going to look at this window frame. All right, so if this window frame, the A-pillar, and that side panel toe kick, if all of this is in good shape, I'm not going to cut it out. Now, I've got to look at one more thing. That's the outer rocker panel. We looked at it on this end down here. Now, we're going to go all the way around, and we're going to look at this stuff on both sides of the car. Okay? Now, look underneath here. That's the outer rocker panel. I'm going to look all down through there. I don't, I don't, even back here. Y'all, it's in good shape. This car is actually in really good shape. Now, I'm gonna look up in here. I would probably, on my car, obviously I'm gonna remove this little cover that covers your wiring harness um, trough, pull that out of the way, and I'm gonna look at that, I'm gonna look at that outer rocker. I'm gonna look on the inside. Now on this one, if you'll notice, needs floor pans. Like I said in the last video, you're gonna put floor pans in it before you cut this stuff out, but we're just talking about what you need to cut on your car. Here's the B pillar. This little dumpling, it's in good shape. You're gonna see there's no rust there, all right? In light of what I've just told you, the side toe kick panel, um, the, the, the outer rocker, um, the windshield frame, all is good. In that case, I'm not going to cut all of this stuff out and install the fastback rear quarter door assembly. I'm not going to install the whole thing. So therefore, I'm going to cut this car a little differently based on that. Okay. Now, based on this, to cut the side off of this car, I'm actually gonna do this. First of all, I'm gonna start with the top, and right along here, I'm gonna clean this area out where, this, where the window frame goes, along the top edge, and I'm gonna locate spot wells. Look right here, see that indentation? That's a spot well, that's a spot well, that's a spot well. I'm gonna clean this off, and I'm gonna drill those spot wells. I'm gonna be careful not to drill through the, the frame for the window, I'm just drilling through the top. I'm gonna get that, that top drilled out. Now there's multiple ways to take these spot welds out. I know some people, they use a, a spot weld drill. Um, some people use a mini belt sander. Some people use a die grinder with a, with a carbide bit die grinding blade. Some people, believe it or not, use a plasma. 
Okay. Now, what some people might do on this is they're, instead of drilling all these out right now, they may cut the top and then drill those out. I think it's one half dozen another. I would drill these out first. Okay. I drill these out. Then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to come back here. We're at the passenger side and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the top. All right. I'm going to cut it. This is going to be loose right here. I'm going to cut the top right here like this. All right. And then I'm going to cut it up to the front and I'm going to cut around this edge, but I'm not cutting through. I'm not cutting through that, that front. Um, I'm not cutting through that front frame. I'm only cutting through the top itself. Now, remember the way that we're doing this, you will not salvage the top. The majority of this top will be bad and you won't be able to sell it probably or do anything with it, but you're saving so much money on the, the rear quarter door inner frame assembly. So you're going to cut it up to there. All right. Now, you're going to come back here and you're going to take your sawzall or whatever it is that you've got. And since, since I'm probably giving up on salvaging the top, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it right here like that all the way back. And obviously I would have already pulled that window out and that's a good window. Boy, if somebody needs a uh, coupe window for a 67 or 68 um, coupe, there, it's right there. This little filler panel looks like it's in good shape. If I'm, if this is my car, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to separate that filler panel. Now, when I cut that top, I'm going to cut it like this. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm doing? So I'm going to cut it right here and here. Remember it has no window in it. And I'm going to do this on both sides. All right. So the top's going to be cut loose here. I'm going to take these spot welds loose on the front. I'm going to cut it here and then I'm going to cut the top here. All right. And then I'm going to lift this whole thing off. Do it on both sides. I'm gonna lift this whole thing off. It's gone. All right. Now, when that's out of my way, what I would do next is I'm going to come back here and I'm, I'm going to, when I look at this, that filler panel is actually in good shape. I'm probably going to, since the quarter's bad, see that quarter panel's bad. I'm probably going to cut the quarter panel and that filler panel, I'm going to cut it like that. The top of that quarter panel is still good. And I'm going to cut it all the way across like that. And I'm probably going to cut it off right here. If that makes sense. I'm going to cut that, that piece off all the way across on both sides. Okay. This is already gone. Remember, so that filler panel and this piece is going to remain one solid piece. If you look at this quarter panel, the rear quarter here, it's no good. I'm going to pull out those vents. Those are worth something. You golly, put it in your La Harbor Freight, you know, blaster with some good soft media, get some of that paint off of it. And that dude's for sale. Now, once I cut the top and the tops off, I'm going to cut that rear quarter off. Now back here, if you'll look, you see where this, um, see where the back end of the, the tail light um, frame is. It's, it's no good. This one's no good. So what I would probably do is I would probably leave that on for right now. And I would cut that off later um, because you're going to need to cut it from the inside. Um, you've got your rear bumper structural pieces that I would just buy those new. You can cut those out if you want to, but it's too much of a pain. That little filler piece. I can't remember what that's called. I just ordered one of those, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, in this particular car, the drop down panels are not that bad in the trunk. Oh, they are too. They're pretty wrinkled up. I'd probably cut all this out. I'd probably replace these, these panels. I'd probably get these out of there, both sides. Now, if you look at the wheel housings, the wheel housings on this car are actually in really good shape. Now, because of that, I'm going to cut this, this rear quarter differently than what I normally would. So what I would do with this rear quarter is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut it. Well, I'm going to cut it back here like that. Cut that down. I'm going to cut from... Don't cut through your, your rocker panel, but I'm going to cut this and I'll probably come all the way down like this. And remember, we've already pulled these out. And I'm going to cut right down through here like that. And I'm going to cut up and around. I'm going to give me a bunch of access space like that. And I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to cut this all the way down and then I'm going to cut, bring all that loose. So that whole quarter panel is going to come off. Then I'm going to work with this stuff individually. I'm going to be getting this stuff individually. I'm going to loosen these th this. I'm going to loosen this from the inner wheel housing on the inside of this. There's spot welds. You'll be able to see them once you cut this out. You're going to want to get this rear quarter. You've got to get it loose from here. See there's spot welds down through here and to get all those. There's spot welds inside here. You got to get all those. There's actually they're down in there for the quarter. It's like right there. 
You've got to get all those loose and you're just going to work your way out. You're going to get all this metal off. I would retain the, the rear wheel housings for this car. I would retain those. I wouldn't cut those. And if it's me, I think I'd reuse them. I don't think I'd use the new wheel housings. I think I'd sell the wheel housings that come in the kit for the uh, rear quarter door assembly. But that's going to get all of that off. That's gone. You're going to be left with top here. You're going to need to peel that off. Your drip rail is what holds this on. You're going to have to use a, an air hammer and get that, get that all peeled off. Okay, Down to here, there's a seam that's right here. You'll have to get it off from the seam. And uh, let's see if I can do this without losing something. From that seam, this will all remain. You'll have to get that drip rail completely off. That has to come off all the way down. Now, when you buy your kit, if I had this car, my fastback kit that I'm going to buy from Dynacorn, I'm going to get um, my, my rear quarter door assemblies. I'm going to buy the weld-in type, the type that you weld yourself. You're going to save $500 per side for that. And I'm going to weld those in, but I'm only going to use on this one, I'm only going to use the top of them. So, from, so actually this part will remain, right here it's all going to remain. I'm going to splice it in somewhere in here, somewhere in here. I'm going to splice that that rear quarter door assembly, I'm going to splice it in here and I'm going to run it back. I'm going to splice it into the top of, of my B pillar, what needs to be there, and the structure in on top back here, a top of my rear quarter, my rear uh, uh, wheel housings. So you're not having to use the whole thing and I'll actually show you guys how to do that, but that's where I would cut this particular car. I would not cut off the lower rockers. These rockers are in good shape. You're only adding work to yourself. If you'll even look inside here, look. That's still got good metal in there. I mean, y'all, that's actually really, really nice. This car's actually in pretty good shape. If somebody wants a no title 1967 coupe that would make a great fastback, you'd have to get a title for it. I'd sell it to you as a part. Um, that would work. But you're not going to be replacing all this. That will come with your, your rear quarter door assembly, but you're not going to use that. You're just going to splice it in up here. You're going to put that rear quarter door assembly. The top would be gone. The side would be gone. And I already talked in the last video where to put your structure on the inside, you know, where you're going to run your bracing on the inside. You need to see the last video for that. But that's going to get your body off, and then you're going to start working these spot welds all the way around, and you're just going to have to take your time. I'm going to do a, a tools video on that and let you see what that looks like. So there's that. That's where I would cut my car, and that's how I would cut my car. You're going to want to take that thing apart. I'm walking around it and taking a look right now and uh, getting an idea. Yeah, this car is actually in really good shape. On this particular rocker on this other side, it's got a few dings in it, but those dents are fixable. Dents are not a big deal. Rust and rot's a big deal. You don't want that. Um, the rear quarter on either side's no good, so I would cut those off. This car would be a great candidate. I wish I had, a, it's a disc brake car too. Um, I wish I had the um, title to it. It sure make a good car. But if you've got a title to a coupe, and you want to convert it to a fastback, this one would be one to good, a good one to convert and use your title. Can you say that? I'm not sure. Yeah, so that's it. So when you get ready to do your coupe to fastback, that's where you want to cut it, just generally. And uh, I feel like I kind of drew those lines on pretty good for you. I'm going to wind up probably cutting a car before long, and we're going to put a... Uh, I've got some parts coming in actually today. And maybe we may, we may use little Susie. If we made her into a drag car, a little fastback drag car, we could do a coupe conversion on it. And kind of go from there anyway like and subscribe as always i want to just bring to your memory that um, i did a uh, video on uh, where to put the, the the bracing inside your car before you cut it before you start cutting on these cars you need to see that video that's the last video that i did i'll put a link to it in the description i also did a video on how to select a good coupe candidate for the conversion i also did a video on how to build a fastback out of a coupe for six thousand dollars and that's what i did and so if you're uh, interested in any of that watch those other videos i have lists um, parts number lists for the dynacorn parts that you're going to need to convert your coupe to a fastback they don't actually dynacorn don't sell that kit it, it's not a kit people say kit your parts distributor make a kit but dynacorn doesn't so i have all the parts for that what you're going to need 
just for the fastback conversion. I didn't include anything else. Coop checklist. What's a good coop? What should you be looking for? And what, how much should you spend? I've got a list for that. If you will email me, my email address is in my description. Email me. I will send all those lists to you. Um, I'm probably going to put together a booklet before long that'll be available electronically. And um, I'm going to have some diagrams and some other stuff in there so that you'll kind of know what you need to be doing from there. But anyway, this is where you need to cut your car. If you have questions, post them in the comments. I, I look at those comments and I answer pretty quickly. So if you're in the middle of cutting your car and you've got some questions, you're like, hey, have this issue, let me know. And, and we'll kind of go from there. Anyway, hope life is treating you well. God bless you. And until next time, we'll just keep building these Mustangs.